Hey, Brick Sorcerer here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a green screen effect using a free program called HitFilm Express. First, you're going to want to go to Start Compositing after making a new project. And this will appear on your screen. So, first you're going to want to import the image or video for the green screen and the image or video that will go behind it. So go to Import, click on this arrow, and then hit Media and import those files. Okay, so once you've imported your files, drag and drop the image or video with the green screen on it onto this editor right here. You'll see that for some it may be zoomed in a bit, so have your selection tool selected and click on one of the corners and just drag it so that it fits the size of this window right here. So you have that. Now, to get rid of the green screen, go to Effects simply type in green and under the 2D effects folder you'll see green screen key drag and drop this on top of your file and it may take a few seconds to load so we have an almost perfect green screen here so first we're going to want to go to controls because we will want to eliminate that eventually actually first let's go to media and let's import the picture that we're going to put behind it. So I have New York City so I'm going to put that right underneath this and as you can see the guy is in front of New York City but it's not perfect yet. As you can see we have a very fine line of green surrounding the mat so we're going to want to go to controls on the green screen man and let's go to mat cleaner and we're going to want to set this so that this outline goes away. So smooth and feather doesn't do very much unless the green screen's kind of choppy, but in this case the green screen looks pretty good. So let's go to choke and let's set this to around 6. Let's see what this looks like. It's going to take a few seconds to load. There we go. So, we've gotten rid of most of it. This we might have some trouble getting rid of, but we can see that we've gotten rid of most of the green screen around this figure. Now this is where smooth comes into effect. As you can see it does look a little choppy, the pixels are a bit, they look a bit pixelated. So let's go to smooth, let's set this to 6 as well. It'll take a few seconds to load of course. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, that looks a little bit better. So smooth basically, it smoothens, it smooths the pixels on the outline of the figure. So we have that now, but that's not the last thing that we can do. As you can see, it doesn't really look like he's actually in front of New York City. It just looks like we photoshopped him in front and left it at that. So we're going to want to go to effects, type in light, and under matte enhancement, there is light wrap. Drag and drop this on top of the green screen guy, the image in front. Take a few seconds to load. Now this doesn't do anything at first, so we're going to want to go to controls. Let's minimize all this. Go to light wrap. And the source layer, as you can see it's at none. We're going to want to put it to the image behind him. So, so New York City. And take a few seconds to load. Now as you can see, the light from the image behind him wraps around the edges so it actually looks like the light from the image behind him is hitting the character in front as you can see so this is pretty much all that you can do to make a good green screen effect on this program now you can do a few more advanced things in the color difference key matte cleaner and spill removal Actually, the spill removal is already doing everything it can, but with the matte cleaner, you can certainly do a few more things for some more difficult green screens. But that's pretty much it. That is how you make a good green screen effect in a free program called Hit Film Express. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that you make many creative things using this software. And I will see you later. Brick Sorcerer out. <laughs>